you and welcome guys, I'm Dingsy and this is Aveba TV with the let's play of the Curse of the Werewolves Collector's Edition. It's a game that was recently released on Steam. As you can see it's developed and published by NotCurrent. It's a casual point and click adventure game with a couple of I'm not sure a couple, but there are some hidden object scenes and some mini games. I actually have unlocked some of the bonus games that you can play on here. That's like a puzzle arm now. Now I'm gonna do this yet. Okay. So let's check what options do we have here. Oh, there are a couple of warp support as well. Nice. Moving closer to check it out. Really good. Can't really save them on the use of the wallpaper. Oh well. Those with the extras and the options. Mm. Let's hope the sound is enough. Okay, well obviously we have to change the player. See the options change? No. Okay. That's good. I've read through the help. Because I'm not really sure what exactly all those hidden objects and stuff are, but I even played a little of the game, so it's not really... It's gonna be more of a walkthrough at the first, I don't know, 10 minutes after that. I'm gonna be struggling, I guess. So here we go! Let's start. Yes, we're gonna go with the regular mode, since I don't feel like an expert. <sighs> oh boy. Looks like New York. What could be it's worse raining. than constant rain in the suffocating grey jungle of concrete and glass? It's not so bad. Nice pants. Oh no, not another power outage. Where are those candles? Finally. Let me tell you my story. Do tell. This little girl in the picture? That's me, Aww. Ashley. <sighs> What? That's so well. And this is my grandmother. When I was a child, we used to spend Definitely. a lot of time together. My grandma lives in our family's manor in Maine, right off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Maine. Oh boy. It's Stephen a wonderful King. and peaceful place. I really enjoyed being there as a child, playing in the beautiful grounds. Nice. I remember long walks along the coastline, watching the ocean waves crash into the rocks, and feeling the fresh sea breeze on my face. But yesterday I received a letter in the post. I'm sure it was from my grandma. Inside there was an unsigned postcard with a photo of a lighthouse. Nothing else. I a tried to call house. grandma on the phone. And I kept calling all day, but there was no answer. She's always at home. She always answers the phone. I had a bad feeling about this. I was oh, too boy. worried to sleep, so I got in my car and drove to the night. night when it's raining. New York to Maine. Maybe it's not that far. looked eerie in the darkness, strewn with debris from the stormy weather, almost abandoned. Grandma, where are you? Do you mean abandoned? What's happened it's to you? Here. Hold tight, I'm coming. I am coming. Yes. Grandma? Hello? Anyone home? Huh, this is really strange. Well, they are quiet. white inside. Okay, when something important happens, it gets recorded into a diary. I have arrived at my grandma's house, but something really strange is going on here. The place looks terrible. Well, should have come early and clean up if it's a single woman in her late years of living in that big ass house. What do you expect? It's awfully quiet and this strange. Markings all over the house walls. Oh no. I've knocked at the door several times, but Grandma didn't open. I'm afraid something bad might have happened to her. Oh no. I always fear the worst. Your cursor changes the direction. To the direction of go up, you can travel. Mm. To 
keep track of your whereabouts. I can click on the map and I can see objects of interest. Nice. Mini game, point of interest, hidden object game. Oh, there's a hidden object. Okay. Pick up the sledgehammer straight away. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. When the cursor changes itself to magnifying glass, means there's something important there. Oh yeah. Pack of matches. A red jewel. Nice. A note from the diary I thought. Grandma's handwriting. What does it say? Sparkling indicates the hidden object scene. Oh well. Need to find all the object listed on the bottom of the screen, yeah, not that far. If you stick there is a hint, fine, we'll click it. Okay, from my experience you don't read the list, you just click on the objects. If you're going for time. Oh, they are the same objects. I thought... Maybe there will be some new objects every time. Wait. Oh. I clicked too fast and my mouse disappeared. Horseshoe. What else do we need? Another horseshoe and a flute. Where the hell is the flute? Oh, there it is. And the other horseshoe. Found it. Great. I found a mechanical mouse. I shall use it wisely. How can I use it? Hmm. Something's in the diary. Something's going on. I can feel it coming. I can't read it. I need to get closer. And with every day it's drawing near. Oh no. It has been raining for weeks now and there seems to be no end to the rain. The days are getting darker, colder too. I try not to leave the house anymore, especially after the dark. How old is the granny? She's living after dark alone? Wow. I have heard the howling again today. Now hold on a second. If it's raining, there for sure will be clouds. So the moon will be hidden. What werewolves? What howling? The neighbors are short spoken, but they did say that Robert has awakened. And he demands worship. What? <coughs> now, I have a couple questions. Who the fuck is Robert? <coughs> I have erected the statue in the yard, but it hardly seems enough for him. Oh man, I don't know what else to do. My grandmother seems to be bothered by something, something horrible. She talks about wolves, though there have been no wolves around this area for many years. And who in the world is Robert? Well, I guess I use another phrasing of that question. I don't know about, but something feels horribly wrong here. I must find grandma as fast as I can. I agree. We must find her. There has to be something else in here. If I check the map, I can see. Yeah, there's nothing. But so we can go what here. What is that? A wolf? I haven't seen this statue before. Oh, the very look of it gives me chills. The grandma erected this? Like how? There's a wolf statue in the garden which I have never seen before. Hmm. It does look like a wolf. No shit. But its body strangely resembles one of a human. How so? It's just a standing up wolf. Howling. My grandma wrote that she has erected a statue for Robert. Could this actually be the one? How bizarre. Of course not. There's an old woman that's, that weighs like a ton. Unless it's from plastic. Wait a second. Well? Help? There seems to be two jewels missing. I have one. How do we exit? There we go. Hmm. Is looking wide up. No 
think it's gonna work. Oh yeah, now. Let there be white. Ah, uh, the hell no. Not going inside the server. Unprepared. Okay, there is a cat. There is something attached to the cat's cover. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What's this? A green jewel. The door is locked. The knot's too tight. Need something sharp. Like a sledgehammer. <laughs> no? Okay, let's open the door. Rambo style with the sledgehammer now. Oh no, it's not working. Okay, I should stop pretending. What? There is a new game here? Okay, I guess we'll find something else. And I'm just clicking, not even reading. Pardon. Ah. Okay, let's see what do we have? Car and firewood. Firewood. And he uses the hint for the car. Nice. I found a hacksaw. Oh yeah, let's go. Chop some shit here with the hacksaw. I don't think it's worth what? Oh no, just slice the whole bunch. Okay. Anything else left here? Triple checking, you never know. Okay, now we have the other gem. Okay. Hmm. It's tangled. I need to try to rearrange the gem so that the bead chains don't intersect. Wow. How oh, is that even gonna work? Okay. Click and then click again to leave it. It's Don't intersect. This is wrong. And this inside is way better. And this though. So we can skip help. And yeah, we got the, the gist of it. Finally. He discovers a box key. Great. What's the key for? The house. Definitely. No, it says a box key. Oh no. Back. This object of interest, yeah, no shit. Can't open it there. Oh man, I guess. I guess we're entering. Holy shit, that's our. A plane to. I don't know what it is. Any explanation? Slowly opens. Oh, it's locked. And there is the key. What's this? A quack minute hand. <sighs> Can I get the, the key back? No. Fine. I found a locked box inside the wardrobe. Yeah, we figured that one already. Oh, and another horseshoe. This time it's not 
need it. Need a key for that? Necklace, yes, I actually used the hint for that last time. Didn't thought of it to pick up this one. Key and use it again. Doesn't make sense, this small box and this big one is the same key, but oh well. And my mouse disappeared. Where is it? There it is. So, we need spoon. A railroad ticket. Cork. How do you play on Wolf's head? And there is audio player. He uses the hint. Oh, never s would have seen that. And our spoon. Isn't that the spoon? Yeah. Tried to click it ten times before. Great, I found a rack. I don't know how that's great. Wait a second. A bottle of brandy. Oh yeah. And the night becomes brighter when we have booze. Figure that one out. Wait if we check here. Yeah, we got everything. Oh, this. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. Uncle Grandma's neighbor, Mr. Oxford. What happened to him? What do you think happened to him? Why is he lying here in my grandma's cellar? Is he dead? Who would do such a horrible thing? So many questions. Well, I think I heard twice, so I guess. Yeah, pick up the murder weapon. Good job. <laughs> Leave prints all over it. Okay, let me focus. As I move forward, I find more questions than answers. Shocker. I found Mr. Oxford in my grandfather's cellar. Dead. Someone, or, well, judging by the things, something, has murdered him. His throat is a mess. I must carefully inspect the cellar and look for clues. Mr. Oxford was a kind man. He wouldn't cause any harm to anyone. Who would want to murder him? Someone hungry. And why is he clenching a knife? Was he defending himself from someone? What? That knife was his? Not? Oh yeah. <coughs> That's not the murder weapon. By the looks of it, it was some teeth. That did it. And how can if we can sip some? Okay, where's the other arm? If I may ask. Objects of interest? None. Oh, I guess that's all we got here. I guess we're going out. What do we found? of branding plane to now where to and yeah, this is as far as I've been no more games here oh man everything is wolf teams no shit there will be little wolves around well I got a knife now I can at the top one was this and I found the entrance key uh oh am I brave enough to enter hmm. the door won't open until I fix this lock looks like I must arrange the gears in the right order okay place to correct positions. Ten gears. Where do we start? Here. Can I put it somewhere else? Oh man. It doesn't say when you do it correctly.
How is this not moving? Oh man. Ah, we need... What needs to be rotated though? Man, that... Some complicated wax you have there. We need big... How we gonna? Ah... This needs to rotate... Oh, no. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm struggling. All of them would spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, obviously we have way more holes than we need. So all of them would spin. All of my own. So basically I just need my my shit to spin, not to rotate something. Should be easier than I thought. Oh well. No. Oh, I just put everything, you think? No, not this one. Ah, there it is. So this one needs to be rotated. Nice. I guess it's time to finally enter. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> and quit for now. Okay guys, that was Ave Batfi with Let's Play The Curse of the Werewolves. I'm Dingsy. Make sure to follow the channel to keep up with the updates. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.